sing one together. One more. Away in a manger, no crib for simply that little song that I learned as a child. That manger uh, is part of the story that God is telling. And it's, for me, the most hopeful part of the story. Because what God is saying in that manger, because as you know, it, it's not a wonderful, beautiful cradle where the, the King of Kings should have been placed in a palace, you know, fit for a king. Instead of all the ways God could have, you know, the word became flesh and, and dwelt among us. What an amazing reality that God himself would come into his world, into our world. And of all the ways he could have come, the fact that he came as a helpless baby, because I mean, he could have, right? I mean, he's God. He could have done it any, any number of ways. With fanfare and, you know, this epic, you know, skies parting and, and all of that would have, you know, totally made sense. But instead, God would come and make himself vulnerable and fragile. Make himself as I heard recently, he would make himself even betrayable. He would even make himself killable, the God of the universe. And why? In that manger, he is saying, I'm coming to you in the brokenness. I'm coming to you in the grit and the grime and the mess of this world, of your world. I want you to know that I'm not a God, a God sitting off far off somewhere, kind of got the whole thing spinning and now I'm just sitting with my arms folded watching it. And that has always meant a great deal to me, but 11 years ago when it was the first Christmas that we hung Maria's stocking and didn't know how we were even gonna survive it. And every year since, like we did just about three or four days ago before I left on this tour, when we got all the stockings out and it's even, there's a part of you that just doesn't even wanna go into that box because you know you're gonna pull out that stocking. And Maria's name is there and you're gonna be reminded again, not that you ever forget, right? When there's that loss and that hole inside of you and that ache and that longing. But we're reminded again that the story that God told in that manger, I am coming to be with you. I am with you. I am for you. I'm going to come and experience everything that you would experience. Hurt, betrayal, even death. So that I can truly be with you in everything that you go through. And if it wasn't true, I wouldn't be standing up here still singing these songs. As much as I love music, as much as I love getting to be with you all and getting to play these songs, I couldn't do it if... If by faith, and look, there's a lot of days it's still holding on by a thread. And there'll be a lot of you this Christmas who will, this will be a lot more, a lot harder. It won't be, you know, all of the joy and all of the, the celebration. It'll represent a lot of sadness. Because you'll 
be reminded so painfully of, of what's not as it should be in your life or your world or your family and that missing person there for the first time maybe for some of you or maybe for the 11th or maybe for the 20th year but whatever it is it's still that reminder that it's not like it should be but God came to say I want to be with you in it and until I make it as it should be I want you to know you're not alone and I want you to know and remember that that little baby didn't just come as a baby but he grew and to be a man who would go to the cross and conquer death in the grave and give us the hope that we celebrate tonight and that we celebrate this Christmas so that wherever we are in life, wherever we are in our story, in a great chapter, in an awesome season, or in a really, really dark, hard, aching, longing, painful season, we can be reminded that God is with us.